Having placed my clips in the timeline as a group, I'd quite like to check the clip order. Of course, I can just play the contents of the timeline and check in real time. But obviously, this will take a certain amount of time to check them with this method. So, we can use another method to check the clip order. And we can do it by moving the position cursor here through the timeline. And to do this, we click and drag the cursor with the left mouse button held. This allows me to freely navigate through the timeline. However, one thing we notice when doing this is that each time we arrive at the border between two clips, the cursor locks to the position where the clips meet, and this can be disturbing when simply checking the order of clips. We can, however, override this function by holding the shift button down whilst moving the cursor, and then the cursor doesn't lock to the clip boundaries anymore, and we can scroll in a smooth manner. What I have noticed is that this clip is not in the correct position in the timeline as I want it at the beginning. I must have placed it incorrectly when I ordered the clips in the bin, and now I'd like to correct this error. There are a few things to remember when doing this, and I'll show some of them now. To start with, if I click to select this clip, then we can see that the placeholder is showing us that all our clips are selected. And obviously, I don't want to move them all. So to start with, I will move the mouse here to our timescale section, and as you can see, a small X appears, which means nothing will happen when I let go of the mouse button. And so that's what I'll do. No clips are moved. Now, I can see why all the clips were selected, and the simple reason for this is that when the clips were grouped and placed together in the timeline, they remained grouped as I didn't perform any other functions. To resolve this, I simply have to click anywhere in the timeline that is empty. And so, all the clips are deselected. And now, I can grab and move the single clip I want to move. So once again, with drag and drop, I simply click on the clip and drag it to where I want it, and drop it there by letting go of the mouse button. Here, we can see that in fact a few things haven't gone how I would have liked them to. To start with, there is a gap here between the clips. And the clip that was in this position before has been overwritten, and so I'll undo this process and see how I can avoid these problems. The solution is simple. As we know already, the mode is important when working with the timeline, and we have to make sure it is in insert mode, otherwise no spaces will be closed and place will not be made for the new clip. So in order to place the clip correctly, I have to be in insert mode with ripple on. Now, I can use drag and drop to place this clip where I want it in the timeline, and the other clips are moved to make room for the clip. I'll have a look at this in context. And think that it might be best to remove the clip, as it doesn't really fit with the following clip. And so, if I want to remove it, I once again must make sure I am in the correct timeline mode. I'll switch to overwrite mode to see what happens. If I select this clip and use the delete button, we can see the same issue as when we place the clip. A gap is left. I'll undo again and set the mode to insert with ripple. And then, as we can see, when the clip is deleted, the gap is closed as required. <laughs> 